This video is brought to you as a free public service courtesy of a three-year collaboration between Armory Center for the Arts and Pasadena Unified School District. Made possible by a grant from the U.S. Department of Education with additional support from the Clarence E. Heller Charitable Foundation. Artful Connections with Math has been formally evaluated by CREST, the National Center for Research on Evaluation, Standards, and Student Testing at the University of California, Los Angeles. For more Artful Connections with Math video lessons, or to learn more about professional development opportunities through Armory Center for the Arts, visit armoryarts.org slash math. Thank you. Welcome to Artful Connections with Math, Regrouping Collage. How can we visually depict regrouping? This lesson's goal is for students to add three-digit numbers by examining ones, tens, and hundreds and regrouping when necessary. Then, using different sizes of paper to visually differentiate between place values, they will create an abstract paper collage that depicts the sum of their three-digit number, both with and without regrouping. Over the course of this lesson, your second grade students will be able to Add three-digit numbers by regrouping ones, tens, and hundreds. And create a paper collage that demonstrates overlapping and an understanding of regrouping using addition. This lesson addresses a number of Common Core standards for mathematics and visual arts content standards. Visit armoryarts.org rc1 to download a PDF of this entire lesson plan that outlines the standards addressed plus key vocabulary words, rubrics, and ideas for accommodations, variations, and extensions not covered by this video. For this lesson, you'll need a set of number cards, sharpies, colored pencils, colored construction paper, you'll also need the worksheet included in this lesson plan, and you'll need black construction paper. Before we begin, let's review the math concept of base 10 regrouping. How do we use digits to represent the value of a number? And how can using the same three digits produce different valued numbers? In a whole class setting, review the concept of place values. In this lesson, we're focusing on ones, tens, and hundreds. Ask your students to represent numbers using drawings of base 10 blocks on a place value chart. Next. Review the use of 0 through 9 in any one place value space. Then, review the need to regroup any place value that has more than 9 in any space. Now, let's play a game called First to 100 with your students. You'll need a place value chart, dry erase markers, erasers, and a number cube. Here's how it works. If you roll a 1, add 1, 10 to your mat. If you roll a two, add two tens to your mat. Roll a three, add three ones to your mat. Four, add four ones. Five, add five ones. And six, add six ones. Break your students into pairs or groups of four. Ask them to take turns rolling the number cube and adding the number of ones or tens to their mat. Then, Ask students to regroup 1s to 10s when more than 9 are in the 1s place value. The first student to get to 100 or above wins. Before we begin, let's access prior knowledge with the students. Ask your students questions like, Why is it necessary to regroup numbers? When do we use regrouping? We're going to use flashcards that visually represent numbers. Dots are 1s. Lines are tens, and squares are hundreds. Give each student two flashcards. Demonstrate how to add them by combining the ones, tens, and hundreds, and drawing the sum in the expanded column on their worksheet. They can compose their graphic number design however they like. Then, show students how to regroup this number by changing 10 dots into a line, or 10 lines into a square. Again, they can compose their graphic number design however they like. Have your students repeat this process three more times until they've finished the entire worksheet. Then, have your students cut out the four regrouped worksheet boxes and paste them onto black construction paper.
Students can color in the background with colored pencils if desired. Finished? Let's review. Ask your students questions like, which numbers required regrouping the tens? Which numbers required regrouping the ones? How did you decide what kind of design to make with your ones, tens, and hundreds? How did you decide how to arrange your regrouped boxes on the black paper? Now, we're going to make a collage based on the work from last session. But first, let's access prior knowledge. Ask your students, what do you remember about regrouping? What do you know about collage? What do you know about overlapping? Show and tell students about the life and art of Russian painter and art theoretician Kazimir Malevich. Visit armoryarts.org rc1 to download a PDF version of this entire lesson plan, which contains biographical information about Malevich and images of his artwork. Ask your students, what do you notice? How would you describe the shapes you see? What kind of colors do you notice? What do you notice about how the shapes are positioned in the composition? Which shapes look like they're in front? Which ones look like they're in the back? Why do you think the artist puts some shapes in front of others? Explain to your students that artists use overlapping to create the illusion of space. Have your students choose one of their regrouped numbers to turn into a collage. Then, give them colored construction paper to cut into thirds. First, have students cut the colored construction paper pieces in half, making squares to represent hundreds. Ask your students to assign a color to each place value. Since the hundreds color is represented by large squares, there's no need to cut them. For the tens color, cut these hundred squares into ten strips, representing tens. For the ones color, cut these hundred squares into ten strips then cut those strips into 10 small squares, representing ones. Finish by having students paste their items onto black construction paper, using overlapping, to create a new collage showing that same number in its regrouped form. Just before this session ends, have everyone stop working and share their collages. Ask your students, what did you learn today about how to add numbers using regrouping? How does your collage relate to the artist's work that you saw? How does your collage differ from a classmate's collage? Discuss students' choices for where and how they place their shapes. Which part of the paper seems heavier? Which seems lighter? Which part of the collage seems to be coming toward you or moving away from you? What worked well in someone else's collage? What would you do differently if you were to do this again? If you could give a title to this work, what would it be? Thanks for joining us today. To download a PDF of this complete lesson plan, visit armoryarts.org rc1. To make more artful connections with math, visit armoryarts.org math. Thank you.